this is the real thing. Johannes Vermeer's Girl with a Pearl Earring, drawing admirers at a special exhibition of the artist's work in Amsterdam. But while the famous painting is on loan until April, the Mauritshuis Museum in The Hague, where the work normally hangs, decided to fill the empty space by asking people to recreate the masterpiece in their own style. They got close to 3,500 submissions, and maybe more than they bargained for. The youngest applicant was three, and the eldest was 94, and we had a, an enormous variety of materials. It was crayon, paint, textiles, salad, flowers, anything you can imagine. It was an explosion of creativity. One work in particular is getting a lot of buzz. A definitively modern take on the classic, featuring glowing earrings on an eye-popping interpretation of the original, made with AI technology. We're not here to discuss, we're not the museum to discuss if, it's, if, if AI is, belongs in a museum or not. I mean, for this project, this specific project, uh, we liked it. The digital creator who submitted the image says he used an AI tool, which generates pictures based on a prompt, using samples of millions of images collected from the internet and Photoshop. Its inclusion in the exhibit is dividing museum goers with some critics saying it's an insult and arguing AI technology breaches the copyright of real-life artists. The museum says it's not making any statements on AI. I go to a, a, to a, a modern art museum or a contemporary art museum and I see the weirdest things which are considered art. So it's such a difficult question. What is art and what is not art? It's an age-old question. One that even the great masters faced. But the beauty or truth of art may be best answered in the eyes of the beholder. Leila Harak, CNN.